Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. The more tools you have, the better. The more tools you have, the better. And what do I mean by tools? Okay, on this channel I'm talking about, well primarily about man gets woman, secondarily about simply just being a sovereign man. And really the tools work for both, really. Let me start with just the uh, uh, tools for getting a woman because you'll find if you have the tools for getting a woman you have the tools for success for sovereignty in life now the tools what are the tools basically whatever it takes to get a woman whatever it takes what are they attracted to okay women are attracted to a man's face like I said, I never argue with that whole looks matter thing. I just say it's not just looks. That's all I say. I say take the word just out. You know, if you say just looks, I'm going to argue with you. I say, yes, they paying attention to it. But as I've said on several occasions, they're looking at everything. And famously saying, they're looking at your shoes. And many women have come on here and confirmed that there are many channels with female content creators. And they're talking about a man's shoes. So... First thing is, okay, your face, your face. You need to fix your face up as best as possible, as best as possible. Figure out what the best look for you is. You know, is it is it having hair? Is it being shaved off? Uh, contrary to popular, popular belief, there are many women like a shaved head, a bald head. Many women do. Understand something. It ain't the women who saying, oh, they don't like bald. That's mainly men saying that. Women like different things. Some women don't, some women do. Some women, you gotta have long hair, short hair, buzz cut, whatever, super stylish. Whatever the case, figure out what works best for you with your hair. Make sure you make sure the dentist is your friend. Personally, I get my teeth cleaned um, like four times a year as opposed to twice a year. As opposed to twice a year and everything. So keep your teeth up, you know, brush twice a day, floss, water pick, all of that stuff. You'd be surprised women say, oh, nice teeth, as best as possible, you know. Make sure you, you know, you clean, you wash your face. It's just that simple, you know. If you got acne, something like that, work on it and stuff. If you got a beard, facial hair, figure out does it work for you. Some guys it works for, some it don't. You know, beer game is a real thing. <laughs> beer game is real. All right, so fix your face. I don't care whatever your genetic structure is, fix it up. Don't get caught up in just uh, thinking, oh, it got to be something. No, women, I'm going to tell you something with women in the face. As long as you're presentable, they good. You don't have to be drop dead handsome for them. Because as I say, most women prefer to facially look better anyway. They prefer to be the pretty one. As long as you're presentable, that's good. You can control that. So you fix that. All right, body game. Get yourself in the best shape that you can for yourself. And even with that, understand it. Yeah, in general, I always say, yeah, muscles and stuff, and generally they work good, but, you know, everybody got different body types. Women like different body types, you know? Some women like a big man, you know? Some women like a gut on a man, believe it or not. Other women, of course, you got to have a totally flat stomach. Figure out what works best for you, okay? Okay, and that's just the physical thing. Make sure you're dressing right. Get your own style, your signature style. All right, that's a tool. That's a tool. All right. And stuff, wait, you know, make sure you got some good jewelry. Make sure you look good. Make sure you stylish and stuff or at least look good. Have something that speaks to you. Now, you don't have to wear name brand clothing and all of that and stuff. Just make sure in general, in general, make sure it's clean and it's ironed. That's big. Seriously, in general. Make sure it fits you well. Don't wear something too baggy. Don't wear something too tight. Your fit is very important because your fit enhances your physique. So that's, that's the main thing. Make sure whatever you do, whatever you do, make sure it's clean, it's iron, it fits your physique. All right, all of that's the physical stuff. Other stuff works as well. Develop your conversation. Every single time you can talk to a woman, that's practice. Develop your conversation. Develop your conversation. Oh, let me, let me jump back a bit. Grooming is very important. <laughs> Seriously, it, it, you know, some dudes are trying to laugh. Oh, just take a shower. Uh, that goes a long way. 
that goes a long way. Because also one of the things with women, they like a man who smells good. They don't want, they can, a woman don't want to, well, most women, 99% of women don't want to have sex with a dirty dude. Unfortunately, there are some who do. I leave them alone personally. But clean yourself up, all right? That works. They looking at that. I remember watching one of those uh, smash or pass videos. A woman, this young girl was looking at the guy's fingernails. They looking at that. Sometimes, hey, if you're on a beach or something, they looking at your toenails and stuff. Keep your grooming up. That's a tool. Your style, that's a tool. But then your mindset, your mindset, that's a tool. You get some women, they dealing with a man because A, he either has charisma, so he can, he can touch them emotionally, or he got, he's just a masculine man. He's a leader. He ain't talking about it. He's the type of guy who's going to be aggressive, assertive. He going to stand up. He going to stand on his principles. He got a backbone. That's all that's masculinity. He's going to do and everything. That's attractive. And let me be straight with you. Let me be straight with you. Because you know me. I always say don't lead with your wallet. Don't lead with your wallet. But one thing women are going to look for is not so much the money itself, but that man who is out here, he's doing something. He's going to go out and make that money because there's a part of a woman that wants a man who, they want a man who has nest appeal. I mean, he, he can like create that home and everything. Not necessarily, they don't need you to spend money on them, but you that guy who at least got your own home. They, they pay attention to that. They pay attention to that because it hits them on a subliminal level. You got a nest. You have a nest and they paying attention to that. You know, if you drive having your own vehicle, like it and you know, all of that. As much control, look like you doing something in life. See, they looking at all of those things. They looking at all of those things. Always understand that. Always understand that. Now, I say having those tools for getting women, if you have those same tools, you can succeed in life. Okay, let me go back to everything I was saying, what it would take to get a woman. Understand something. Business, businesses are based on relationships. Every time you step into a business, that's a relationship. That's a relationship. It works better if the same tools you can use to get a woman, you can conduct business with. And stuff, because all it is is connecting with another human being. And trust me, business is better. As someone who has been in business, it's very good if I can talk to anybody. Like my thing was, I worked in sales, I uh, worked in retail, and even when I was working in the government, I was doing investigative work. I had to talk with people across the country. I had to talk with them. I got a lot more out of them. All of those are relationships. Of course, they're not sexual relationships, but you still talking with another person. That's how salesmen, salesmen, they, they make their money because they make a re, get a relationship with their customer, you know? So even if you just work in a regular job, things work better with relationships. You can relate. Indeed, on jobs, a big thing that I've talked about several times, I've seen this in the government, I've seen this on a retail place. Politics. All of that's relation. A lot of people move up in a company just not because necessarily their skill, but they just cool with the right people. And they and I've seen people who had talent otherwise, but because they didn't get along or they had lousy relationships with people, they didn't get the raises they should have got, and indeed in some cases even laid off a job. So all of it works together. That's why I always say, if a man can get multiple women, there's no reason he should not be successful in life. To me, the whole concept, the whole idea of a hobosexual, to me, I'm like, well, dude, if you can get women to sponsor you like that, shoot, that means you can go out and maybe be a salesman or something. You can make money. So it's like the more tools you have, like the women part, if you really think about it overall, that's just a small part of what you can do. That's only a small part of your time. Even if you marry, you still got to work and everything. So if you got that charm, you got that ability to swoon, uh, make that woman swoon, hey, you can go into a job and make that human resources person swoon. Or you can like have that connection with people where you can get raises and everything. You can make those political connections to move up in a company or wherever that you are, 
Or if you in business, businesses are nothing but relationships. I don't care what the business is. Okay, like say you are a plumber or something. Okay, you, you ain't having people coming in and out of your spot, but you, you do some work for somebody, you got a good connection, you shoot the breeze, all of a sudden, that's a permanent customer. That's a customer gonna stay with you a long time. That's a customer who's gonna tell other people about your services. You see how all of this works, all of it is holistic. But in order to get to that point, you gotta develop your tools as much as possible. You gotta develop everything as much as possible and stuff. Now you just don't sit back and be like, oh, well, I don't got this or this. Okay, work on it. Okay, so what? You're not fashion model of the world. Only less than 1% of men even on that level. Really, 1% of 1%. So, shoot, you with everybody else. So what you gonna do? Just fix up what you got and stuff. Work on everything else. Have the more tools. Let's bring this back around to getting women. Women looking at every single thing on you. That's why I say I have a problem if someone say just looks matter. And if they say looks matter, I'm like, yeah. But if they say just looks, I'm like, come on now, they looking at everything. And like I say, I'm famous for saying they'll give you a blowjob off your shoes. They looking at that. <laughs> women checking out everything. When women do that scan, when they do that look, it ain't choosing signals, they seeing it. And they will reject you off of it. You might be out and they have a watch on one. They be like, oh, no, nah, he don't have a watch. And they ain't messing with him. You know? Either you might have that one day, you, your shoes just got scratched up. Or, you know what, your pants, you ain't iron your pants properly. They looking at that. They might, they might just catch you at the wrong time. You hadn't showered or something, and it could have been just legitimate. You just had it home to shower. They just catch you at that wrong time and stuff. Because they looking at every single thing. But understand. If you got your shit on point, that makes it easier for you. It gives you power. It gives you leverage and stuff. And then, of course, those same things can help you succeed in life to really build your sovereignty. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.